Hey, what's up, everybody? Everybody, Johnny Hanson here, bringing another um, quick video for you. Um, I've been working on a project, and uh, someone has been asked. Someone asked me how I did one of the effects I'm doing, which is uh, Rust. And uh, the project I'm working on is uh, Revenge of the Fallen Megatron. And just to give you some quick teasers of what I've been doing lately, here's the the new head. Well, I just uh, cut the parts up and replaced it, made, you know, made the um, jaw armor a little wider and stuff like that. It looks really good. And uh, as you can see, there's some uh, rust effect on it. And someone asked me on Facebook and how you do the rust, how I did the rust effect. Well, you guys are going to probably find it a little weird, but in a way, I find it pretty easy to do. And I'm using a flat rust, and you just dab. No, don't use, don't use too much finger. And then you just add a little, like a, that makes it look like a little pool. And then you grab, you know, this is the new arm I made. And then you just start dabbing, like I'm going to dab a little bit along the side here. And just. Just give it a nice effect. They can go crazy on the rust. If you want to make them look really rusty, you know, or just a little hint of rust as it as was saw in um, Revenge of the Fallen. Not like in the um, Age of, I mean, Dark Moon, where um, Megatron was like a complete rust bucket. You just want to dab it and try to. You know, like... But yeah, in anywhere, uh, other words, you should be getting a little effect like that, which, um, which, yeah, and a uh, little. I did some work a little earlier, and you know, I ended up with something like that. You know, it's it's a it's an interesting interesting experiment. You know, trying to get the rust on the um, the fingers here is, is is a little difficult, and um, you know, the head you know was like you know wasn't much of a challenge. It's just that you got to try to figure out how you're gonna really place the rust. And in the movie, it doesn't really in Revenge of the Fallen it doesn't really give you a clear visual of rust that's on Megatron in the in the movie. So I just like, you know what? I'm just gonna try to blotch it and just add a little rust here and there like here's the, the body so far. Anyway, and you can tell there's it's been no rust has been added a little rust has been added here and there, little streaks of rust. You know, it's just it's kind of an experiment in a way, but in other words it's a custom. And uh if I don't like some of the rust spots I can just repaint it and then go over it again but yeah that's that's how i've been doing the uh, rust and uh, i hope you hope you guys found this video a little instructional and special for some customizers it's a actually it was my first time actually doing a process like this and it actually worked pretty well and originally i used to used to blotch it like just took a brush Like what I did was blotched it with just took a brush to it and then just went like you know like like that and just blotched it out everywhere. Crap, I got some paint thinner on there. Oh well, well, well. Anyways, um, that's that's how I've been doing the um, the rust process. Well, that's how I'm doing the new rust process. The old rust pro process was just blotching it, and with this, you give it a it, like you just don't you don't add a lot of rust. And well, then getting in Dark of the Moon, Megatron was pretty much covered in rust. So with my that was my Dark of the Moon Megatron custom. I got work on that. I got work on that, but I'm gonna work on this Megatron. I've been working on um we working on Optimus, giving him a new paint job and stuff like that. So. Yeah, but yeah, um, 
this, you know, this is what I've been doing in my Megatron and Age of, uh, Revenge of the Fallen Megatron, which, in my opinion, is probably one of the best. One of the better Megatrons. You know, the first movie, Megatron, he was okay. And then the third movie, he was kind of a, a wuss. And then the second one, he was like a complete badass, pretty much in a nutshell. But yeah, this is uh, some of the work I've been doing. You know, I've been re uh, reconfiguring the, I reconfigured the cannon, uh, murder arm, cannon arm, whatever you want to call it. Um, it does have that. Uh, it actually looks a little more like the cannon from the movie. A little bit more. Um... The uh, new arm you just saw, I've been um, adding some arm, new armor bits, kind of redesigned the chest a little bit, you can probably tell. And of course the legs here, a little more paneling on there. I might add some more stuff on him, but it's a, it's a fun project. You know, I've been, you know, it, I think it will still transform, but if it doesn't, I'm not going to really care because the tank mode for the figure did kind of suck. But the robot mode look, doesn't look too bad. Didn't look too bad. But then I, I'm like, you know what? This this figure needs an upgrade. And I'm like, you know what? I want to upgrade him, give him some really cool sh crap. But um, but yeah, you know, I I hope you guys find the video instructional. Um, for the bait, and um, someone just asked me a question. No, the question. Um, how, how do I do the base coat? I just um used a uh. I mixed. It was my own uh, special special ingredient. Ingredient. I used uh, flat black and uh, aluminum uh, from testers, and I just mixed that together. Gave it a little more of a, a darker darker aluminum effect, which was what I was which I which is what I was going for, and it turned out really good. Uh, and then of course the rust is placed after, and I'm going to add low detail work and stuff like that. Maybe add some black. Um, Maybe a little hints of gold here and there, but you know, just right now I'm just going to get the main of the armor part of it, you know, covered with some rust and stuff like that. But yeah, hey, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the instructional video. You know, if you're going to go in the uh, use rust, flat bat, flat flat rust. All you need is a brush, dab some paint on, put some paint on your finger, and just start tapping it, and just slowly tap it to give it a pretty pretty decent effect as you can see or as I as I shown you on the um, the Megatron here you know you know brushes they do help but that's just for mainly metal streaks you know you know scratches in the armor per se but you know I think doing the rust tapping with the rust process was actually did a little it was it was a it was an experiment but it turned out really good. I hope you guys found the video somewhat instructional, especially if you're going to make a um, Re Revenge of the Fallen Megatron or a Evasion Mode Optimus Prime. Just rust him out or uh, a uh, Dark of the Moon Megatron. You know, you just. But you know, with the uh, and and then in the the second movie, he wasn't as rusty. So that's that's what I'm trying to accomplish. But yeah, anyways, um. Thanks for watching, and uh, you guys have a good day.